Today's tutorial is gonna deal with how to patch the nadir at the bottom of your 360 shot. So let's start out, we're in After Effects and we're dragging in our clip. Now let's click and drag it down and create a new composition. There's our Skybox VR player, which we're not gonna need right now, so I'm gonna move it out of the way. And what we're going to do here, you can see our rig is right here in the picture. So let's scroll down to our effects and get the metal skybox converter. And drop it down into the composition. Then go up here and change that to cube map. So now what we've done is we've laid it out, taken apart the 360 video, much like when we first started before we stitched it. So the next step that we're gonna do, we need to get rid of this, is we're going to go to Composition, we're going to save Frame As and click File. That will create a Photoshop file, a PSD. Let's create a folder for it called Photoshop. And let's put it in there. So let's render that. Very good. Go back over here. Then let's open up Photoshop. From Photoshop, let's open up a new file. And we're gonna go here to the RAID, and we're gonna get down to the parallax test, and inside our Photoshop, here we see our PSD. Let's open that up. So now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and zoom in on that area that we need to replace. I'm gonna take my quick selection tool, and I'm gonna outline the area that I wanna get rid of. It's a little bit big right now to get that, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. And what I wanna do is get this little area right here. Let's try using the fill. And with Content Aware, it should go ahead and fill in the area. And that looks pretty good. There's some mistakes there. So let's deselect the area. Let's go in with the, the healing tool. And let's go over our edges. Let's make that look good. Most times the healing tool does pretty good, but there are times when it doesn't quite get it right. Oh, there's a weird one. Go to our clone tool. Hit the Alt button to select the area that we want to clone. And let's go ahead and get rid of our, our monopod in the shadows. So I want to try and keep this as close to what we've got as we can. I'm going to get it from a couple of different areas. Try and keep the consistency with the shadows or at least pretty close. I'm gonna help out where we used the healing brush before because I don't want this to be seen very much. We're just gonna do this pretty quickly. I'm not gonna go into tremendous detail on it. Okay, we've got another area that we need to do something with, but let's get our selection tool again because we just wanna get just the area that we wanna change. And let's go into our clone tool Okay, deselect. Let's see how our healing brush does to take care of some of that. And that side did pretty good, but this side didn't doesn't look so good. We're gonna back up and let's do that again. Let's use the clone tool over here. And let's lose the clone tool over here and make that nice and smooth. We don't have to worry about this little bit of overspill because it's in the area that is folded over. So now we've got it done. 
Let's come back out to fit on screen there. We got our areas done that we need. And now we're going to do a save as. And at the end of it, what I like to do is just put the letter A. That way I know that this is the adjusted one. I'm going to save that. I'm going to close Photoshop. Now I'm going to go to my project. Okay, so let's go ahead and import our file in. Now we've got to get the right one. Go down here to the parallax test to Photoshop. And there is our A so that we can see exactly. Let's put this in detail. So now you can see exactly which one is the one that I did the adjustment on. And let's bring that in. And just click OK when this comes up for interpreting the footage. Drag it and drop it down on top of the original. So now it's sitting on top of it. But now we see nothing but it. We're not going to get any movement that way. So what we do is we take our pen tool and we're going to sketch out the area that we need to replace. And give yourself plenty of clicks on this so that you have room to make adjustments later on. So there's the first one. Notice it's sticking out a little bit. We're going to need to move that over. We're going to need to move this over. And we're going to need to move this one and even this one over. And let's change that from a yellow because I really don't like yellow when I'm doing this. I like a nice darker color. So let's make it a nice purple. Yeah, that's a lot easier to see. Now when you open up your mask, what you want to do is you want to click and drag and expand the feathering and also expand the mass expansion. Let's now we need to get this other area. So we're going to click and we're going to add another mass to it to cover up that area. And again, open up the mask. Let's change that color to a darker color because it's a lot easier to be able to see. Let's make it a nice green, dark green. There we go. And again, increase the feather, increase the pixels for expansion, for the mask expansion. And there, now we have it. We do have the motion because all we're doing is masking these two areas. So now what we're going to do for the last step is to take that whole composition, drag it down and put it in another composition because we've got to somehow get it all back to being equirectangular. So then we take the sky back converter one more time, drop it in, and wow, voila, we have our equirectangular image. And all we have to do now is go ahead and export the image, Adobe Media Encoder. That way we maintain our meta information. And I've got my own preset that I use all the time, my presets. And then I don't want to put it in there. I'm going to go ahead and put it in where I was using it in the parallax test. I'm going to put it right here. Let's call it patched Nadir Skybox and AE. And that's all there is to it. Click it and it'll be done.